You guys know the deal. Give it a minute and then we'll get started. I would have thought Jake would have been there. Hey, George. Uh, let me, uh, Did they post an artist list? They did. It's a pretty good sized list there. How many is he got here? 115. Uh, yeah. How you doing there, David? All right. We hit our two minute mark and we'll start. How's it going, everybody? This is our first Facebook group break that wasn't Walking Dead. We had, what, three or four Walking Dead ones? Um, so, cool. Got ourselves a box of Rick and Morty Season 3, the premium packs. Um, break is sponsored by me. <laughs> but uh, I didn't realize that there wasn't an internal box. I should have thought about that. So there they are in there. I showed them last night. Got our 10 packs. And like I said, everybody that's participating in the break will at least get one of each of P7 and P8. They gave me a bunch of them. Hey, Jake. Before uh, before you get started, Jake, don't forget Star Wars cards. I know you're busy. I'm just kind of playing with you a little bit. Okay, so um, premium pack, one autograph, three sketches, and in one of these packs will be an extra card, which will be the um, the piece of the script. And if we're lucky, we'll have that. Redemption for a full script. As of last week, they still, nobody's pulled it. So, hey, Powder. And I made sure we are in the, um, not in the first 30 boxes, so ours come in a pack and a team bag. Does anybody want these, or should I just throw them away? Are they keepable for anybody? I don't know if you, you know, going to put your stuff in a binder and you want to put that in the front of the, of the binder. All right, so they put everything in a single, like a 120-point top loader. No soft sleeves. Hmm. That's kind of surprising. I'm going to grab, as soon as I finish this first pack, let me go, I didn't grab a pack of soft sleeves because I didn't think I needed them. All right, so first off, we got Ryan Ridley. This is numbered 15 of 50 as Assassin. And he wrote, we had a deal, Jerry Smith. Yeah, they might actually be bigger than, uh, all right, three sketches. 
Omar Soto. Israel Ortega. That's a, that's a nice one. If I remember correctly, when we did season two, he's the I think he's the one that had that really nice goddess Beth sketch that we got. And Brandon Pyle. All right, excuse me one second. I just want to go grab a pack of soft sleeves. I don't have enough at my desk. And I'm going to grab Well, some of you that have gotten packages from me uh, recently, as I cleaned out the back room in my basement and got rid of all my boxes, is these Pop Century boxes. They fit perfectly inside of my padded mailers. So some of you actually would have gotten your cards in those, and I think it works great. I'm just curious if this will fit in. Yep, just fits. So shouldn't be a problem. If you want one of those boxes or packs, just let me know. Yeah, that Stellar box, that thing. My son wanted that box. Um, <laughs> I didn't even think about uh, when we did the draft that they would, um, that that's something that somebody would want. But it definitely uh, makes sense. The one thing that stinks is I didn't have a box big enough. I think I had, I think I put it back in the box it came in, which took up a lot of space. Because of the packing material. That is definitely a nice sturdy box. Alright, so that was pack one. Put that there. Well, I'm hopefully gonna start gonna start on uh Packing that stuff up after this. And by the way, powder, the original ones were so bad. Um, did they come in a single top loader like this? Because that's why. I think we got, I think this is our, uh, our script card. Because this is a lot thicker. It's not coming out. Yep, there's our script card. All right, so we got Maurice Lamarche. And this is 8 of 40. Federation president. Well, you think about it, it, it makes no difference in where, how they were put in the pack because you know, when it's mailing, you know, when it's going through the post office, it's just all over the place. Uh, mayonnaise and bread. Yeah, that's fine, George. I can do that for you. They, um, you had enough, uh, break credit saved up. That's why, because I, I had done the same thing. I saved a couple of your breaks. Because that, even though you're still, I think you're not in the same postal zone as me, but you're close. For Galicia. So it was, I think it was $20 to mail that box to you last time. But you, you had enough built up to cover it. Or you were close if you didn't. Chris, Papa, yeah, that guy. Papadopoulos. I don't know who that is. Some of the characters I'm not as familiar with. All right, final cut. Oh, they're actually numbered one of one. Rick shuts him down too. You know what? I gotta. Come on. 
See, that's a pretty thick card. And it's not focusing as you... Eh, there it goes. And... Alright, that's two packs down. I wonder if there's any chance of getting two of those in a, in a box. Oops, sorry about that. Also, um, I had posted earlier in the discussion, I have a bunch of inserts and I have base sets from Season 2 and a little bit of Season 1. So, if you uh, want anything, you're welcome to it. All right, Spencer is C-137 Summer. I was a monster when you met me. Number 73 of 105. Come on. There it goes. Oh, this is going to end up being a mess. Let's just... Come on, jeez. What does this mean? Is that Jeffrey Benitez? That's not... That doesn't look like his name, though. Uh, definitely looks like a Jeffrey... Jeff Swarnick? No, that's an all. Hmm. All right. Oh, well. I'll show you the name real quick. I'll get it. I don't want to take forever here just uh, looking up names. David uh, Lee. Is it? Why do I feel like his name was a lot more legible in earlier, in other products? Uh, and I'll have to look that one up. But I'll scan them, you know, just like I normally do. Probably would have been a lot more work for Cryptozoic, but if they would have soft sleeved all of these, they probably they probably wouldn't have fallen out as easy. Keith David is the president. 185 of 199. <laughs> it's possible. Like I said, I don't want to take too long. But anyone that I'm not sure on, I always go through and I'll... Uh, Sharis. Uh, also, the list is alphabetical by first name. Chad.
Phil Giuliano. I am shocked we're this far in and we still haven't gotten a pickle Rick yet. And Mendez. This is pack five. This will be the halfway point for us. I see a good sketch. I see two good sketches. This is a very good pack. Brandon Johnson. Mr. Goldenfold, uh, 69 or 89, 89 of 199. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip these sketches around and put them in a different order. All right, so we're gonna start with. No name on the back and no name on the front. Unnamed artist. All right, next. I'll show you the name because I don't recognize it. The signature. Is that Chris Meeks? It doesn't surprise me when you see the sketch. Look at this thing. Pretty sweet sketch there. And in the same pack, I don't even need to show you or tell you the name. Partly because I can never pronounce it right. But you know, once you see that frame. So that was the same pack. writing on this one. Malik Berger as Mrs. Pancakes, 87 of 105. That is correct, David. It was Achilles Kakanakis. Let's see what we got here. No name on the back. Uh, she said, you don't know me. So it says, yeah, you don't know me. Now, the name of the bottom says Malik Burger as Mrs. Pancakes. Now, this definitely says Shalik 
That's not an N. That is an S. A.K.A. Mrs. Pancakes. Let's see. Let's go with this one next. Uh, Aurelio Cocati. There it goes. And we end with Kleber Lima. We got some winter static cling going on here. All right, so we start with William Holmes as Pastor Gregma, 89 of 105. There it goes. <laughs> I'm hoping we do. Nice. Okay. We'll start this way. Show you the name first. Because I don't, like I said, I have to, I have to look some of these up. I see so many signatures, I lose track of who's who. And we'll go with uh, Andrew Fernandez. And Vicente Maavero. Well, you think that'd be out of a superhero product, the way you got that one drawn? Well, George, we've got three more. Try and get that autograph for you. Come on. Tara Strong as Stacy, twenty nine of one sixty. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely get them all figured out when I uh, I'll look up for signature comparisons. Let's see. Let's go with we'll go with this one first. Michael Munshaw. Rich Molinelli. Yep. And Alex Mines.
All right, two more chances. We start with Million Ants, Tom Kenny, 23 of 50. Is it Jeffrey Hammond? You know, I say it's crazy because we, we pulled a couple of Tom Kennys. And if this was a SpongeBob product, it'd you know, be hundreds of dollars. Uh, hmm. I'm going to guess this is Henderson. What did I say this one was called? Oh, Hammond. Slice sketch is nice. David Angelo Roman. It's not focusing. There it goes. Our last one. Come on, Justin. Nope. Got a good inscription, though. This one is numbered 46 out of 50. I'm so sorry, Mr. Poopy Butthole. Come on. There we go. About time. Let's see. Uh, nice. Okay, we've got a decent ending here. I like that one. Who did that one? Ah, uh, that makes sense. All right, Barouche Merling. And Brent Scotchmer. There's our pickle Rick to end at least. And we end up here. Bianca Herman. This one you probably aren't gonna be able to see it in the image though, but there's uh there's some metallic paint in this, some definitely some shine. I'll uh, see if I can get some glare. You know, actually, what should I put a lighting cross? That might just be too much glare, but mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so 
We did not get a Pickle Rick autograph. So we got our final cut, which that's our extra sneak pick. And then, so we got Sarah Chalk out of 50, Tom Kenny out of 50, Tara Strong out of 160, uh, William Holmes out of 105, Malik Berger, that's definitely an S, not an M, 87 or 105. Makes me want to go and look up the, the actress's name. Yeah, I know. Brendan Johnson. But we definitely got a couple of decent autographs. Keith David. Spencer Grammer, which is out of 105. Uh, Maurice Lamarche, which is out of 40. And Ryan Ridley out of 50. And then our sketches. I'll have to look up some of these. But, you know, the big ones, we did get a Chris Meeks. We got Achilles, Kakanakis. And there's a couple other really nice ones in here as well. I will scan everything just like I normally do. I'll list them. I'll figure out whatever names I wasn't sure on uh, just to make sure. Now, the uh, draft, again, will be just like normal. I'll have in that spreadsheet where I put the draft order. We'll get everything listed when I get the pictures up and then you know we can start our drafting I also had posted earlier a bunch of different things that I had from season two I've got eight or nine base sets and I've got a ton of inserts from season two I got a little bit from season one so if you're looking for anything you don't have anything then you know Post that you want something. I'll include it with your stuff that you get from the break. Um, I guess that's about it. We're still filling. Yeah, like I said, just post it in there and I'll make sure you get some. If you don't have any at all, all I ask is just be fair. Don't say I want to take it all. You know, I think I had one or I think I had one set of stickers and then I got a bunch of individuals. So if you have some stickers, because that was a, the hardest set to put together. Um, all right, well, anyway, Avengers Endgame, Captain Marvel. I'm not sure why that one is not full. It's, hopefully it'll be good. You know, I mean, I, I know they're, they've got a couple of good signers. I'm sure they'll be very rare, but just to even get the chance at some is uh, more than we've had in a while. And it looks like historic autographs 1969 is not going to take off. Unfortunately, uh, George, you and Ted are the only two that are interested in it. So unless you want to buy, want to go do one box, and you two can split it, you know, it doesn't really seem to be much, uh, much use in doing it. But hey, also over on blowout, the second round of historic autographs Civil War came up. Um, it, that stuff's really fun. It's different. It's not cheap, but you know, just kind of cool to see these full, you know, documents and stuff that's 150 years old. And uh, yeah, round three of 2018 Stellar. It's more than half full. I think we're about 26, 27 spots full out of the 40 so far. I think they're the only two breaks that I'm filling. Oh, no, that's not true. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 2019 Twin Peaks Archive Box. Uh, they just kind of, they're just kind of stagnant. Same thing, Star Wars. We were trying to do Star Wars Masterworks again, another round of that, but it just didn't pan out. So that's about it. Next thing we'll be opening should be the other Game of Thrones Inflections International Edition, that break went active and everybody's paying now. So I will uh, put in, I mean, I'll be recording on that one probably this weekend. And Women of Star Trek, I probably, I probably will 
put in for it. Or excuse me, Star Wars. See, I, I'm thinking Rittenhouse. That's why I said Star Trek. I'm really not a fan of doing ones that are just women. I don't know. Just it doesn't appeal to me. Andrew, uh, did did you take spots in the Twin Peaks break, the 2019 archive box? There's 10 spots left out of the whole break. And Blowout sent me the box by accident, and I opened the box. I didn't open any of the packs. But once I once I dumped the packs out and the poker chip card came out, you know, it, it, then it dawned on me that they I had the wrong box. So they matched the cheapest price on eBay for that. I think it was $900 for the box. But I guess there just isn't enough interest in it. You know, everybody uh, went full tilt on 2018s. So anyway, that's about it, guys. Join the Facebook group. Most of you already know it, but if you don't, iFish73 non-sport group breaks. Shortened it down a little bit, made it easier. Based, that was uh, Russell's idea. So thanks, guys. And uh, let me get these things scanned in, and I'll see you in a couple days for Game of Thrones inflections.